Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Grand opening, grand closing. And who you gonna find opening him? Guys, I want to start off this video by saying this is a very long video. I don't think it will get boring for you guys. I do think you will keep entertained throughout the whole video. So please bear with me. If I want to give a quick shout out to Logan J. Baez, to Freddie from Nike Talk, to RMMS Baller from Nike Talk, and also Mr. Fomer Simpson for putting out crazy, crazy good vids. Every Here's a single quick time. lace swap I did with the Liverpool LeBron 9s. I put in the white laces that came with the Swingman LeBron 9s and I took the Liverpool laces and put them in the Christmas LeBron 9s. I think this white look is a much better look for the Liverpools. I think it brings out that midsole and really makes the shoe stand out. This is what the Christmas LeBron 9s look like with the Liverpool laces in them. I think it kind of looks like seeds so I call these my strawberry LeBron 9s especially with that green pull tap in the back. I think they really look like strawberries. All right, guys, I've taken a long break off from making videos. So without further ado, let's get into my pickups. All right, guys, the first pickup I want to show you is the Nike Air Yeezy 2 NRG in the black and solar red colorway. I picked these up off of Nike.com for retail when they first dropped. This was my favorite colorway of the two, so I'm very happy I got these. I was scanned for a pair of Air Yeezy 1s which was a lot of money so getting these for retail really made up for that as you can see it's an awesome shoe a lot of details is the inside look of the shoe it has that glow-in-the-dark outsole and then it has Horus on the bag that they give you this is easily one of the top shoes in my collection another pickup that I grabbed was the LeBron 9 Elite Miami Vice or South Beach colorway this was a very hyped up shoe and a very hyped up colorway, so I was unable to grab it for retail. I copped these off of rmkstore.com. It's a very, very legit site. They're very professional with what they do, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But what you have is the classic Miami Vice or South Beach colorway. You have this pink and a, like kind of a teal, but it's new green. Very nice looking shoe. Had to have it for my LeBron 9 collection. There's the inside portion of the shoe. You can see the outsole up top. It has a translucent outsole that will have a problem with yellowing, but that's all right. RMK store is really awesome that they send you stickers when you purchase from them. As you can see right here, they have an RMK store sticker. There's the Miami Vice sticker, Kevin Durant 4 Aunt Pearl sticker, Concord sticker, Playoff 12s, Galaxy foam posits, which are still on my list. I wish I had them. And then they always make sure to throw in this, like, care and directions sheet. Just for authenticity. It's a great site. Don't hesitate to order from them. So that's my second pickup. Moving along, we have the Nike Zoom Kobe 7 Supreme Year of the Dragon colorway. I picked these up off another site that ships from Hong Kong. They are 100% legit. They have the care card just like the South Beach LeBrons did. I had to get this colorway for the Kobe 7. This was one of my top colorways for it. I love this colorway. The main thing I love about this shoe is this white on the outsole. It looks really, really great in person. Here's the shoe. See that gold electro lime swoosh is what it's termed as on the, on the tag. Here's the inside portion of the shoe. I put the smaller insoles in. I don't like wearing the large ones. So they're the Kobe 7 Year of the Dragons. Next up, we have the LeBron 9 Low Entourage. These are actually supposed to be called the World Basketball Festival, but people have dubbed these the Entourage LeBron 9 Low. In person, it's a really, really dope shoe. They're even better in person than they are on video or in pictures. I already un ds these. I've worn them a few times. That's why the bottoms are a little dirty. But they're still really great. Um, all blue, you can see. And then on the inside of the shoe, you have that white swoosh, which really makes it look good with that white midsole. The air bubble's yellow. You can see the outsole up there with yellow on the outside and blue on the inside. It's a really great shoe and very, very comfortable. 
For the next shoe, we have the Olympic Air Jordan 7. These are the newest release. They do not have the, for the love of the game, logo back here. But I didn't get for the love of the games, so I had to get these. They're a really, really nice shoe. The leather is okay. I can't complain. The outsole is really dope. USA colors on the outsole. All around a great shoe. These are still dead stock. I have not worn these yet. But I do have to get to wearing them pretty soon. A very clean colorway and a great shoe. Another Olympic inspired shoe is the Air Jordan Olympic 6. These last retroed a while ago so I had to get them. I did not get them right away on release date because I did not have the money but I did cop them later. They are a great shoe except when they came out there was a lot of issues with the outsole already yellowing. My pair did have a little bit of yellowing going on but that's alright because I will wear these anyway and the shoes will yellow eventually. It's not that big of a deal to me but it's just such a clean shoe with that white and navy once again just white and navy you have a red lace lock and a red jump man in the middle to really set it off the outsole you have a red jump man clear bottoms and a navy outsole such a clean olympic inspired shoe following the two jordan pickups that i had i picked up the golden moments pack I got it from my friend. I traded a pair of Concords plus some cash to my friend Kyle. Shout out to Kyle. Because without him, I wouldn't have been able to get these. He got two pairs on release date. So he helped me out and I helped him out. It was a great trade for both of us. We have the Golden Moments 6. Very clean. White and gold. Really, really nice. Some hits of red on the tongue. There's the inside look at the shoe. I was very disappointed though with the quality of this shoe. Just the sixes though, I did not like the leather. I was not a big fan of the six after I got them in hand. I really don't like the laces either. There's the outsole. Not as much of a yelling issue as the Olympic six, but there was a couple little tiny spots, but that's all right, because I'm gonna wear these too. So there's the Golden Moment six. Along with the Golden Moment six, the pack also came with the Golden Moment seven which was my favorite of the two shoes in the pack. At first when I saw them in pictures, I thought the 6 was going to be better than the 7, but when I got them in hand, I could not deny that the 7s were straight crack. The materials on this shoe are very nice. I love how soft they are. And on foot, these are going to look so dope, all black and gold. Very, very, very nice shoe. Easily my favorite of the two in the pack. The 6s just not a big fan of them. The quality and materials did not impress me. The outsole, you can see up there, it's got gold, black, and kind of like a creamish color. I'm not sure if it's white. But another great shoe that came in the pack. The next shoe I have for you guys is my favorite shoe of the year. Maybe even my favorite shoe of all time. It is the Nike Roshi Run in the mango colorway. For the most part, this colorway is exclusive to Asia only. A member of Nike Talk, RMMS Baller 10, hooked a lot of us NT members up with these shoes. Big shout outs to you. Without you, a lot of us would not be able to have these. As you can see, all gray uppers, really clean. The theme behind this shoe is only the essentials. So all, the only thing they put on this shoe is essentially what you need in a shoe. You can see on the outsole, you have this bright, 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 bright mango colorway. One of the dopest shoes I've ever seen, and easily the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. You have that lunar soft insole, which is crazy comfortable. If you can get this shoe right now, I suggest you get it, because they're getting very, very hard to find, and even any of the colorways are getting very, very rare in store to find anywhere. So if you have a chance to get this shoe, get it right now. Here I have another Roshi run, this time in the Calypso colorway. This is by far the hardest colorway to come by. It released in the U.S. and in very, very small quantities, but they're very, very rare. Right now, the only place you can really find these is in Australia, and even there, they're very hard to come by. I got these off of a Facebook group in a size 10. 
I posted pictures of these on the Nike Talk Roshi page and immediately another Nike Talk member contacted me and said he had a 10 and a half and wanted my 10 and that we could trade. I shipped first because I trusted him and he got this 10 and a half out to me very quickly. We both were satisfied and we both got the shoes we wanted in the size we wanted. He even threw in these pink laces that fit perfectly in the shoe just in case I wanted to do that South Beach colorway. I don't think I will be doing that but really nice of him to do that. You can see the outsole you have this teal colorway just an all-around great looking shoe and once again very 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 comfortable. These retail at seventy dollars and now this colorway a lot of times you can find and people are charging over two hundred dollars for them I did not pay two hundred dollars for them but I did not pay retail but I'm just glad I have them because right now you cannot even really find them once again I have another colorway of the Roshi run this time in the NYX colorway this colorway never dropped on Nike.com or any other retailer in the US really you can find it on overseas websites it did drop in a couple mom and pop shops and a couple online retailers but for the most part it's more of a rare Nike Roshi run to find so I had to get it from overseas and I had to cl complete my collection of Roshi runs I have every single regular men's colorway that I've dropped I'm not gonna put them all in this video but I just wanted to show the ones that I've picked up recently I got these from RMK store and once again they came through this time giving me a free iPhone case I don't have an iPhone which sucks but it's really dope that they threw in an, a free iPhone case for you there you have an RMK store sticker safaris and more up tempos Olympic sixes another safari shoe and that care slip that they throw in for these Asia shoes so another great colorway of the Roshi run I wore these to school the other day and people love them I don't have too many more shoes to show you guys but I do have a couple KD4's that I have to show you I picked these up off of Nike.com these are the scoring title KD4's these are one of the best KD4's in my opinion other people might not think so but I rank these in probably one of my the top three KD4's for me the detail and the colors yellow and blue are just awesome it goes so great on this shoe the detail and craftsmanship put into this shoe is off the charts blue and yellow shout out to Javi Hav I know you love those two colors uh, big shout out to you you have this translucent blue outsole just an overall very very dope shoe another KD4 that I picked up was the USA KD4 these released in extremely limited numbers at select house of hoops locations and also on nike.com I struck out on Nike.com for these, but I did end up getting them off of a Facebook group for a decent price. A little more than I wanted to pay, but I still got them. These were the only USA shoe that I really, really liked, and I had to have these to go with my KD collection. This is the cleanest of the USA colorways, in my opinion, of all the shoes that came out. Just this white is like kind of pearlized on the shoe in person. If you have it, you'll know what I mean. The red strap looks great with that white swoosh. You just have that navy outsole with some hits of red. A really dope shoe. The seller did not double box the box when he shipped it. So it is a little beat up, but he did include a receipt from the mall that he purchased them at. A very, very nice shoe. One more KD4 that I picked up was the Galaxy or All-Star KD4. I picked these up from the same seller that sold me the USA KD4s I saw that he had these in my size and I really needed this shoe for my collection so I picked them up from him they were a little more worn than what he described originally he did not double box when he shipped again 
So the box is completely beat this time. He taped up the corners and stuff. It's not even the original box. I think it's for uh, Year of the Dragon, size 10. So it's not the original box even. I had to have these, and I figured I'd get them cheaper worn because I would wear them anyway. The 3M on this shoe is nuts. The outsole, as you can see, it's kind of yellowed and dirty, but that's all right. I've worn these once already, and I've broken necks at the mall and at Best Buy. A worker really, really liked them. The midsole is my favorite part of this shoe. Really, really crazy. Needed these for my collection, so I had to pick them up. One final shoe for this long video is the gold medal KD4. I picked these up early. I had to. I wasn't going to take the risk of not getting them come release date and then having to get them later. I was just going to get them early and get them done with. These are also probably one of the top three KDs for me just because of the meaning of them. This summer watching the Olympics, I had a great time. One of my dreams in the future is to go to the Olympics and watch. So watching these Olympics was just awesome for me. I had so much fun watching. So that's why when I rock these, they come with these purple laces. The purple laces are because of the lanyard or the ribbon that came with the gold medal or the medals received at London. The ribbon was this purplish color. So when I rock these, I will be putting these purple laces in just to symbolize and remind me of how much fun I had watching the Olympics and how much they meant to me. These also came from RMK store. I know it seems like I'm like advertising for them or vouching for them or something, but I just had a great experience ordering from them. They threw in another iPhone case, this time white. I don't work there or anything. Don't think that. Uh, I'm just sharing that this is a very legit site. They threw in those same stickers from the Roshis that I showed you. And then this card again. So that's my last shoe of this video. I know it got long. I know this is a long video. But I hope you enjoyed it. It took me a while to film all these. So please leave some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. And I do have to announce that I'm semi-retiring from the shoe game, shoe collecting, shoe buying. I don't have the money for it anymore. I just, I lost my passion for really collecting shoes that much because of just everything that's happening right now in the shoe world. It's just kind of annoying to me. I do really, really want to start getting to some other shoes like Asics. I really, really like some of the ASICs designs. So if you guys can help me out when some of those styles release, just let me know when they do. And if I need some help picking one up, if you guys can pick them up for me, just stay in touch with me about ASICs release. I really want to start getting into ASICs because I love how they look and I need a pair of them. So yeah, that's it for this video. I know it got really, really long. I'm sorry for that. Hopefully you stick with me. Leave a comment. Leave some feedback. Thank you very, very much. Shout out to Logan J. Baez or Javi ha Javier. I got your number in my phone. I've been texting you for a while. You're still the realest dude on YouTube. Peace out, everyone.